what's going on y'all man you already know what time it is today today we got another episode of uh these crazy um tiktok compilations the things that will reprogram your mind make you rethink reality and a lot of things i'm learning as new i'm telling y'all man it's, it's crazy to know that things are literally right in front of my face and i'm not really paying too much attention to but with the help of y'all are sending me some things you know if you want to send me some things for a shout out as well that would be greatly appreciated um, y'all can just go in and click that link down below in the description. I also will be pinned in the comments. It is Discord. All you have to do is come on over, copy and paste the link, and just send me any video for a shout out on YouTube. I would love to do that. And um, it will help me out as well. Just find a new content because it is difficult sometimes to find my own content. But we we'll greatly appreciate it for y'all help. It would be something a little bit more easier, you know. But um, but yeah, man, let's go to get into it right now. Like I told you, I mean, the more thumbs up this video get, the higher that it will rank. Let's get this video to number one and let's break the charts, man. And yeah, um, let's go ahead and get it. Let's go. <laughs> so, are do you consider yourself a witch? Oh, I am a witch. But what? I don't know this for everybody. Though. Should I be scared? No. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know because you know they, they they tell me Beyonce is a witch and shit like that. Oh, that we is. should be scared. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's an Ifa. So when she wears her yellow, that's Oshun. Oh. Uh, you know, riches and beauty what? and love and all of that, which I can see why she's connected to Oshun. But yeah, so it's a, it's another kind of tradition. Okay. Like a lot of people would think it's voodoo, but it's really Ifa. So it's a similar, it's like a lifestyle as opposed to religion. You Cause know, I always what? wonder why she always got on them flowers and yeah. she got on that elaborate shit. I'm like, can nobody buy your clothes? Your clothes look different. No, you know what I'm saying? She probably gives her so she has her own altar. She gives her food. She has parties for her. All of that, just like um, Summer Walker. Just like Summer Walker. So Beyonce is a witch, and she says she's a witch. You know, Ifa is voodoo. So when you see Beyonce dress up on all this way, she's trying to represent Oshun, which is a water deity a water goddess about fertility fashion beauty all this demonic stuff but it, it's so demonic i'm telling you beyonce is a witch be very very careful she has her altars they worship demons and all these things be very very careful there's only two spirits in this world the spirit of god and the spirit of satan you can only rise up by two spirits the spirit of god or the spirit of satan stay away from a second wow are you serious bro i i had no idea of anything like this. This is crazy. So if you don't know, you're about to find out. The Jordan River dried up. Yep. Gone. Non-existent. But what's crazy is the things they found once the river dried up. What the hell is that? That ain't normal. No, nah, that can't be real. That ain't normal, dog. I ain't never seen nothing like that. Yeah, they can't be Look real. how big it is. And you can tell that it goes underground. So the Jordan River dried up and this shit popped up? Wow. I mean, if I would have seen some shit like this right here, dog, I ain't gonna lie, I might have to call the authorities. What is this? What's that? We don't have a clue. And stuff like this popping up just means there's a lot of wonders of the world. Oh, it is. We don't know about. Come on, dog. They're looking like a reptilian. What? Facts. Big facts. Look a look a baby. Look a look a baby. That Shout out to real. Tim's, cause what the hell is that? I'm gonna have to look that this up. That is weird, man. That's all I can say. They digging and finding artifacts and all types of shit after this damn river done dried up. Now you know the Jordan River is symbolic, right? It is. I'll show you about it. Crazy part is, some of this shit like them look like them AI pictures. But I found these pictures on our archaeologist's website. This shit real, dog. Just imagine what's up under all of this, man. Something is going on. Like there's a lot. We gonna just gonna we gonna keep finding stuff out. That's why I love TikTok. We gonna keep on finding stuff out. Yo, where you come from, dog? What is you? I ain't never seen you in this world ever. I ain't never seen you either. Where you come from? Let a brother know. Now you look like you might be sad. You done went through some things. Bro. But tell me about the past, man. This is crazy. This is like one of them AI pictures too. Fact. Look at this guy in this shit. It's like a skeleton. He looked like, look what I just found. I wouldn't be looking like that at all. That looked like a big ass skull. No. He announced 
One stronger than I am is coming after me. I am not even worthy to bend over and loosen the strap of his sandals. I baptize you with the water, but he, he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Jesus is baptized and attempted. About that time, Jesus came from Nazareth to Galilee and, and uh, John baptized him in the Jordan River. That's why the Jordan River is symbolic. But let me just say, all this shit is crazy. I ain't never seen no shit like this. And I'm guaranteeing you there's going to be more shit to be found. I promise you that. And I won't be the one that's going to find it. I need to look this up 100%. Because that is wild. If, if them big heads and all of this stuff has been um, uh, discovered when the Jordan River dried up. I can only imagine what's under all the oceans and all the other things that we have in the world today. Bruh, have anybody else been paying attention to Beyonce's Renaissance tour? No, I don't know if Beyonce at home chilling. You feel me? I don't know where Beyonce at, but it looked like she got body doubles who's doing her tour for her. And I know a lot of y'all finna say I'm crazy, but just hear me out, right? I mean, they kind of been showing us since the 90s that they can manipulate us with masks. For example, Norbit, Eddie Murphy played every last one of these characters, you feel me? So I don't know why it's so hard to believe that these people really be wearing skin masks, not just in the movies. What do y'all want to talk about the Nutty Professor where Eddie Murphy played all six of these characters? I mean, it's really hysterical at this point that y'all really believe they only using these props in movies, you feel me? Right, now let's get back to this Renaissance tour. So y'all remember the all-white party, right? That Beyonce attended earlier this year. And Beyonce was looking like Beyonce, correct? First and foremost, who is this? Because that's not Beyonce. It's almost like we seeing a different person in every state. Bro, all these pictures are from the Renaissance tour. You feel me? Just look at the body type right here. To be real, this don't even look like her, but let's talk about these hands on her outfit. Oh. Just take a wild guess who hands they are. Or let's talk about how it was a portal at every concert. Look at her hand, you know she got a pledge of loyalty. Look where the arrows at now. Y'all see them lines coming down. And don't tell me those wrinkles. Y'all know exactly what that is. I don't know. That definitely looks like Beyonce. If I think that this guy is just tripping right now. You know, I tell you, I have some real effect, but I think he's just stretching it. Um, I definitely think that that is Beyonce. It looks like Beyonce. And uh, if he doesn't know that people have retouchers, she's Beyonce and she has a full time photographer and editor. Anybody can edit her body to be shaped a certain way. So, yeah, I feel like what he's saying is false, but y'all can let me know what y'all think down below. Alexa, when will World War Three start? World War Three starts on November 23rd, 2023 at 6.05 p.m. Wow. When Russia launches an attack against Germany. So that's what was said from Alexa here. And they had to come out in the video and basically try to say that, wait a minute, uh, we got to go and we got to fact check this one. And basically what happened was Alexa was reprogrammed. And when she was reprogrammed, the date was no longer November 23rd. So moving into it, though, let's let you hear what they said about it. Tonight's fact or fiction we are looking into a strange story you may have seen it claims amazon's alexa predicted world war three will begin on november 23rd no. of this year and um, so we of course had to try it out for ourselves and found the video is fiction alexa when will world war three start there hasn't been a world war three and it's impossible to predict if such a war will happen in the future as you saw alexa will not answer that question and amazon spokesperson and also confirmed to Newsweek that Alexa's response in the viral video is fake. So the thing is, is like, like I said, these things are programmed, but who would program it to say that specific date? That's the question. What is their agenda? Why were they programmed to say that? That's another thing. I personally feel like that it happened for real. And the thing is, I don't know. I don't personally know if this real or fake because you really don't know. It's a lot of editing programs, a lot of everything around the world, AI situation. So I really can't tell if this is real or not, but... The way the media have portrayed it on the news, it seemed like it could be real because they always try to cover their behind. So we're going to see on November 23rd what really happened with Russia and Germany and see what it began with the next world war. Let's see. But right now, it's a lot going on in Israel. So I guess we'll just have to really wait and see. President Kennedy was 
because he was going right. to release information on this. It's a burn document that was found, I want to say, like six or seven years ago, and it talked about buildings being on the dark side of the moon. He was in the Navy. He had a top security clearance. He was going to be handling video and film that came back from combat missions. And he goes, he got brought into a room one day. He said, the guy said, stay here, wait right here, I'll be right back. And he goes, so I'm standing in this dark room where they're developing a film, and the guy says, hey, man, you want to see something really cool? Come over here. So he's like, oh, okay. So he goes, I go over there and check it out. And he starts showing me buildings on the dark side of the moon. And he said to me, these aren't ours. 40 different creatures that were coming here, 40 different aliens or 40 different terrestrials, ETs that were coming here. One of the former prime ministers of England said the U.S. has been dealing with a group called the Tall Whites for like the last 15 or 20 years. The Tall Whites were what? a group of very Nordic looking extraterrestrials. Very tall, light hair, uh, just very, very big. There was some talk that in the early 30s that there was a guy, his name was Thor, and he was a tall white, and he was working within the Senate and Congress. You know, UFOs were as real as planes that fly over your house. I mean, there he was just, he said, there's no denying it. They're there. You know, we know they're there. Tall whites, that's a pretty crazy name, but I don't know. What, what do y'all think about this? At least Hulu was honest about it. You know, they say TV will rob your brain. Yeah. <laughs> that's absurd. TV only softens the brain like a ripe banana to take it all the way. We've created Hulu. Hulu beams TV directly to your portable computing devices, giving you more of the cerebral gelatinizing shows you want anytime, anywhere, for free. It's not free, but okay. Mushy mush. And the best part is there's nothing you can do to stop it. I mean, what are you going to do? Turn off your TV and your computer? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That is crazy. Once your brain's reduced to a cottage cheese like mush, we'll scoop them out with a melon ball and gobble them right on up. Oops. I think I'm drooling a little. Because we're aliens. And that's how we roll. Hulu, this is oh, your brain. Whoa. On TV, this is your brain. On Hulu. So close. And this is your brain. Oh. On Hulu Plus. And this is your brain with a little spring of it. Hulu Plus. What? That's hot. An evil lure plot to destroy the world. And no. At least who? How did this even air? How did this even air? How did they even approve this? Because they plan with child, they plan with us right in front of our face. Everything, like from the beginning to the end of this video. This is the founder of the Church of Satan and her daughter Zina LaVey explains what? how by listening to worldly music you are participating in a satanic ritual. Let me know what you think of this. Make music for a purpose. It's not just background music or it's not just, you know, fluffy, light stuff. It's not, it's this for, is not elevator satanic music. It's no. ritualistic music. It is music it is that by, by even the act of listening to it, you are participating in a satanic ritual. By what? listening to, so if I put this on and listen to it, I'm participating. But I'm just, you're a listener. Because I'm asking you, how does it make you feel? I it's mean, very stirring. It's very emotionally charged. You can't listen to this music and say you don't feel something because you do. I'm sure you would probably feel either hate or fear or rage or something. I but don't know. Maybe he's a great musician. I well, just say the guy's know. very talented. Right. But I would say that someone who would listen to it would probably feel very similarly to how one might feel if they're listening to classical music that is and bombastic. But, and but you know, so what? I don't know. I hear about this a lot, but I... I just think of the old days like music and instruments and you know and piano beats and you know a lot of the and it's a lot of artists who actually openly admit to having type of ritualities within their music and sometimes their audience is somewhat a little weird with some people saying how they don't even remember what went on during the entire concert but they just remember the beginning and the end but throughout the middle and the other songs they don't remember you know so i could see something like this being real but at the same time, I don't know. I need to fact check it because, I mean, if you think about it, back in ancient times, there were also music. So were there also rituals? Like, But I understand if they're talking about like the hurts of music, you know, that it's somewhat mind controlling in a way. And mind controlling in, in certain things is it's influencing into their type of uh, belief as in um, ritual, like, you know, rituals, which is just like mind control in a way, you know, voodoo type of stuff. But yeah, I don't want to get too much on that side. It's almost like how a lot of um, biblical people, they would say, like, they don't take medicine. You know, they don't eat medicine because, I mean, you know, that's me indulging in uh, witchcraft, you know, because I'm doing things to make my body feel better when naturally this is how I'm supposed to feel. And they're trying to do natural things like eat better. Um, a lot of people uh, spiritual, not say spiritual, but a lot of biblical people do not eat sea moss. 
you know, they don't eat sea moss because they says that, you know, they don't eat, you know, those certain things because it's indulging in witchcraft, you know? So I guess that's what they're trying to say here. Eddie Griffin, ladies and gentlemen, he has talked about the earth being flat for a long time. Let's get into it. to go to outer space. Just like every other day, I need to go to outer space. What's out in outer space? Right. Oh, and he never make it. The rock shit hits the firmament, and the firmament stops it. Ain't nobody been to the moon. Ain't nobody been outside this giant cage we're trapped in. The firmament is real. This is why rocket ships take off and they start shooting at an angle. They'll scrape the firmament and they always land in the ocean. It says it in the Bible. Then they shoot some grainy film that they were on the moon. He scraped the surface of the firmament, landed. It's all in one day, but the landing is like a week later. But that's when they show it. All the shit happened in one day. There's no satellites out there either, nigga. <laughs> there's, there's no satellites. Right, they have so many apartments that break off because of how does the shit same when it lands? Yeah. Same shit takes off. Or even the satellite. Yeah. No, there's no satellites. They are hanging satellites in the firmament. This is a GPS system. And that's the permanent GPS system. They call it space. But the space between Earth and God is called the firmament. And that's what it says in the Bible. And until he opens that up, uh, it's going to be continued. Firmament. That's called the firmament. It's in the Bible. See? Nothing will get through the firmament. Um, flat Earth is real. Hey, the world is not round. If it was, I, I could disprove this many, many times, but anyway. Uh, there's an ice wall around our three-dimensional world called Earth that lays on a two-dimensional plane. Right? But we're trapped in the center on this planet in an ice wall. This is why, if you fly from anywhere on Earth to Australia, I know, to Antarctica. Can't. Why do you always have to fly to England? Damn. To make it seem like the world is round, you had to travel that far. From Florida, An Antarctica is about four, four and a half hours. On a straight shot. So why the fuck you gotta fly from Florida to London and then there? Anywhere you come from, you gotta go to London and then London and then London and then No, you're going to uh, London because the reptilians there said you must come through there. Wow. That's deep. <laughs> that is deep. Let the world know what you did. So P. Diddy uh, broke uh, Justin Bieber's virginity. Yes, absolutely. A lot of things. So then you have all these what? people around me just kind of hanging on, wanting stuff from me. Cheese is yours. You, you know, when you get 16, you good to go. I'm good to go. Yeah. All right. In a shocking turn of events, Kim Porter's sister, Tamia Porter, has emerged from the shadows to spill the tea on Diddy's alleged misdeeds with young artists, and it seems like no one is safe from her claims, not even the pop sensation, Justin Bieber. Buckle up, because this tale is about to take you on a wild ride through the world of secrets and scandals. During a recent interview that had jaws dropping left and right, Kim Porter's sister laid out a series of jaw-dropping accusations against the hip-hop mogul Diddy. According to her, there's more to Diddy's glamorous facade than meets the eye. She claimed that he engaged in unspeakable acts with young and impressionable artists, and one of those artists just happened to be none other than the heartthrob Justin Bieber himself. But that's not all. The plot thickens. 
The interview took a dramatic twist when Tamiya revealed that Diddy had allegedly silenced Kim in the past. Why, you ask? Well, it turns out that Kim had reportedly threatened to expose Diddy's deep dark secrets in a tell-all book that would have undoubtedly sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry. Could this be the reason behind Diddy's alleged efforts to keep her quiet? Hold on to your hats, because the revelations didn't stop there. The sister then went on to drop a bombshell, suggesting let the world know what you did. Wow. Okay, I need to see the rest of this. Somebody needs to send me the rest of this video, because that is wild. Telling y'all this because I care about y'all, I have a cousin that works in the Pentagon, and she told me, right, that a lot of these foods, you're gonna see an uptick in illnesses caused by these foods, so don't eat them anymore, okay? I'm gonna give you the list of foods, make sure you write these things down, get pen and paper. The first food is oxtails, okay? Oxtails, don't eat oxtails anymore. They're causing illnesses, they're causing loss of memory, they're causing loss of hair, um, plantains, Plantains are making people very sick, giving people diarrhea, giving people people hallucinations. Also, lengua, como se dice, sickness. Don't eat this anymore. Goat meat, don't eat it anymore. Seafood, lobster, crab, shrimp. All of these things that are becoming very popular, salmon, you keep Whoa. stuffing it, you're going to stuff yourself into a hospital. Don't eat this anymore, I'm telling you. And especially if you're melanin deficient, there's a certain type of chemical component inside of melanin that serves as a uh, 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 um, a Jeez. immunity mm -hmm. towards... <laughs> It serves as an immunity towards the chemicals that are in these foods. So if you are melanin deficient, you are at a higher risk of getting harmed by these foods. So don't eat them because that type of food is for criminals and vagabonds. So we have to make sure the price, the stock for these types of foods goes way, 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 way down for crab legs, lobster, crawfish, especially crawfish. I'm telling y'all this because I care about y'all. I have a cousin that works in the Some bottom feeders is what she's trying to say. Um, which at the at the last part, but yeah, I, I be telling everybody, man, just watch the foods that you consume. Like that plays a big part in your health and what you do daily and how you will live your life. Because food is a lot different now, especially it's a lot of chemicals involved with food. So just pay attention if you want to live a healthy, long-lasting life. This will be one of the wildest things you've ever heard in your life. This video is for entertainment purposes only. If you've never heard of the secret. It's said to have been written by the Rockefellers, but look, I thought this was crazy. This is what the chat GPT AI responded when I asked it to type out the secret for me. I ended up finding a video of this woman right here reading it. The secret was created by none other than the Rockefellers and maybe even someone even higher than them, let's be honest. But this is their secret in their claws of things that they wanted to follow. And when if you're a conspiracy theorist or a critical thinker and you're aware of what's been going on in the world, you're gonna know exactly how suitable this is. This is written word for word and I wanna read it to you. Okay, so bear with me. The secret, an illusion, it will be so large, so vast, it will escape their perception. Those who will see it will be thought of as insane. We'll create separate fronts to prevent them from seeing the connection between us. We will behave as if we are not connected to keep the illusion alive. Our goal will be accomplished one drop at a time so as to never bring suspicion upon ourselves. This will also prevent them from seeing the changes as they occur. We will always stand above the relative field of their experience, for we know the secrets of the absolute. We will work together always, and we will remain bound by blood and secrecy. Death will come to he who speaks. Mm. We will keep their lifespan short and their minds weak while pretending to do the opposite. We will use our knowledge of science and technology in subtle ways so that they will never see what's happening. We'll use soft metals, aging. This will be one of the wildest things you've ever heard in your life. This video is for entertainment purposes only. If you've never heard of the secret, it's said to have been written by the rock. The fact that this was written so long ago and I know that a lot of the stuff that she was talking about in this video is happening as we speak. Just please tell us how many, I know you don't have to tell us the exact names, but just tell us how many uh, ingredients are in what you refer to as sick filet. Well, I was, it's a play on words, of course. And you know, you got to be black people. They, 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 when I said McDevils, everybody was like, ha ha ha. I said Taco Hill, ha ha ha. Uh, white casket instead of White Castle, ha ha ha. Sin Tucky Fried Chicken, ha ha ha. That when I said Long John Killers, they was fine. When I said the Murder King, they was fine. Mm -hmm. But black people got an emotional attachment to this Chick fil A spot. Oh, for real. So when I said Sick fil A, well, I had to get extra security. 
I'm t- so I was sitting one day drinking some coffee. What about Popeyes? And I was looking at the line in, at Chick Fil A. Three lines starting at ten thirty in the morning, and I stayed there for an hour. It never let up. I said, "Ain't no way in hell that a chicken sandwich tastes that good." Facts. So I said, "Let me see." Uh, I wonder what they putting in it. And I start doing the research right at the time that you remember, you know, in the hood, there was this argument, Popeyes versus oh. Chick-fil-A. And everybody was going back and forth. And people, you seen people at Popeyes, man, got shot. The man shot somebody because they didn't have no more chicken sandwiches left. I mean, I said, I said, this ain't no regular chicken sandwiches. No, for real. So I went and looked up Popeye's chicken sandwich. Come to find out, they have 40, over 40 ingredients in the Popeye's chicken sandwich. What? 32 of them were man-made chemicals. And I said, well, let's see what Chick-fil-A has. Over 50 chemicals in the chicken sandwich over 40 of them were man-made chemicals wow i said so hell this is a dope sandwich pretty so much they, hell they really are flipping birds over there right <laughs> they, i mean legally because there's no way in the world to justify so whenever i seen that um i said it in a message and someone took the clip of it and then went on the website of chick-fil-a had it broke down where they were clicking on it, showing all of the ingredients and these chemicals that were in it. Do you know the next day Chick-fil-A took that down off their website? So now you can't find the ingredients to the Chick-fil-A sandwich or the Popeye's uh, chicken sandwich because they don't want you to know that they're drugging you, that they're doping you, that that they they have you wanting the food, not for nutritional value, but because you become addicted, addicted. by That's the MSG facts. and the other chemicals that they inserted in. That they clone Tyrone, y'all. It also are immune system disruptors. Right. They ill affect your brain, mess with your arteries, and, and any foreign substance automatically activates the immune system, which means our bodies, when we eat this kind of food, they are fighting an unnecessary battle so when the real battles of disease show up, the, the systems are too, too worn, worn out. out by fighting these small battles every day from bad eating that they can't handle a virus when it shows up. So it'll, it'll do us a great service. Uh, as the, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said this, he said, you must get your mouth out of the white man's kitchen. And remember this, the minister said this, whoever controls your kitchen controls your revolution that's true because food affects mood oh that's true we are what we think but we also are what we, we eat. eat and if we have the wrong teacher multiplied by the wrong diet we're going to engage in the wrong activity, activity and success won't be ours yeah yep. cool he was speaking complete facts here, y'all. everything he said in general was facts i'm gonna need to look more at him and uh, do some research about him because He's somebody that's new. I guess I never really uh, seen him before in the media, but I'm going to have to do more research on him because everything he said was complete facts. And I talked to y'all about that a lot as well. Having been a director for some of the biggest stars in Hollywood, I feel like I have a duty to warn parents about something. They're coming for your children. They want your kids to be indoctrinated into far left voters who believe anything the media feeds them. Yep. And a lot of parents don't even realize it's happening. Here's the most recent example. This is the Paw Patrol spinoff called Rubble and Crew. Sounds like no big deal, right? So in this new Paw Patrol spinoff, they've got a new non-binary character. Look at the socks and shoes. This was intentional and the writer admitted what? it. Yeah, those were shoes and socks in the trans pride colors. Now you might be asking, who was the writer? The writer is somebody named Lynn Zamir, who runs a YouTube channel called Queer Kid Stuff. And it's as bad as it sounds. They indoctrinate kids and provide quote unquote LGBTQ plus resources for them. These are the types of people spending time alone with your child, indoctrinating them into this woke mass hysteria. If you don't want people like this indoctrinating your kids and reaching the inside of your home with their woke far left hysteria, it's time to turn the TV off, guys. Rebel and Crew isn't alone. Netflix did the same thing. So did Transformers. So did Blue's Clues. They want to sexualize your kids. 
This is a grooming pipeline. It starts here with these subtle references in TV shows your kids get indoctrinated with, then they head off to public school where their teacher indoctrinates them further, and before you know it, you have a child that is fully indoctrinated into the woke cult. You know now, so you can stop it. Turn the TV off. They always tell us what they're doing way before they do it. You guys ever seen Utopia on Amazon? Came out in 2020, but it's actually from a story written in 2013. Check it out. Your father created world-changing, not world-ending, a world-changing, world-improving omnivirus. And we have taken that virus and embedded it in the vaccine of the Stearns flu. I knew it. <gasps> I knew it. We created a panic and now everybody's begging for the vaccine. No, no, no. D demanding it with all no, the entitlement real. of a first world country. Yeah, and now we have exactly what we want. Hundreds of millions of Americans lining up, offering us their arms, and letting us give them our creation. I'm pretty sure when every vaccinated person starts dying, they'll trace it back to undetectable virus or not. What we are doing is far bigger than death. This virus is not deadly. It looks pretty damn deadly. And how's it a cure if you're killing people? I told you it does not kill. That was the amazing epiphany we had. We didn't have to kill to accomplish our goal. We intend to stop human reproduction for three generations. The busy, endless global assembly line of babies will grind to all. You're sterilizing people? Uh-huh. In the first five years, we'll start to see major birth rate declines as teenagers vaccinated stay at their childbearing years. You're controlling the future of human civilization. And this released right before the whole COVID shutdown. That is wild. Like just imagine a few months before this, they released everything. The whole COVID shutdown and the vaccinations. That is crazy that this released right before COVID-19, y'all. You know, you know, time to expose some more pizza files if you know what I'm saying. Now this is pure speculation, right? We've known each other for years. Yeah. You've been to my house. We've had pizza. Girl after my own part, heart. Do we love a pizza or yeah. what? We love yes, a pizza. We do. It's so, it's so, so much fun. Now, someone did. I, so I, I was told that you were. Okay, that wasn't weird at all. I actually heard other people talking about Jennifer Aniston's pizza parties. So they're going back and forth talking about Jennifer Aniston, trying to get them to go out and have fun with her, or go to her parties. Just pay attention to body language, gestures. When Aniston will say to me in the middle of the night, whenever I'm with her, uh, something cool, she'll be like, you see? And I'll be like, no, you're right. This is great. This is great. And then the next morning, she'll text me and say, I know something, you know, Wednesday night, if you want, I'll be like, come on, we just did that Saturday thing. Let's <laughs> what? We don't have to do too good. I like, I'm like, I'm going to bed at nine. I can't come over. Your thing starts at 8.30. So. <laughs> yes, she can handle it. She yeah, can handle it. She her can. parties are incredible at her yeah, house, too. Yeah. She does have good parties. And she makes good pizza as well. She makes great pizza. Wonder yes, yes. Wonderful pizza. All right. Um, just y'all are all like, oh, whatever. I know it's not just me. Those of you who know, you know. How was the pizza? Was it good? Oh, what did he, he make it Amal's himself? pizza was better than Clue. Yeah, they both they, made, uh, everybody made a, a certain kind of pizza. There's no I pizza know. we didn't love. Something that he does. Five different kinds. Five different else. kinds or six different kinds of pizza. And I, Clue, Clooney's was excellent. Shut your Amal's was. So I wonder why she told him to be quiet. Five different kinds, six different kinds. That kind of sounds familiar. One lady was like, how many cheeses, Jerry? <laughs> Jerry was like, seven different cheeses, seven different cheeses. <laughs> People were eating the fucking pizza going crazy. Oh, my God, I taste the cheeses, Jerry. <laughs> I taste the cheeses. They bought me my piece of pizza. I took a bite. I couldn't fucking believe it. Best pizza I've ever had in my life. Best fucking pizza I've ever had. Had some type of lettuce on it. I've never tasted this shit. Took my white baby's got some type of lettuce on it. Where do you taste the lettuce? He didn't just say what right. I think he said. He said baby. Did he? So somebody said he said, I told my wife baby, listen. Took my white baby's got some type of lettuce on it. Took my white baby's got some type of lettuce on it. Took my white baby's got some type of lettuce on it. Okay, I'm not hearing it. Now here's the thing, y'all. It's all speculation, right? It's just a conspiracy, right? I know. We're all crazy, right? If you know, you know. Time to expose. Okay, I'm trying to figure out because I just learned about this piece of stuff and somebody commented. 
Actually, I think I screenshotted it. And this is what I had learned something new because I didn't know. I ain't gonna lie, I love me some pizza, y'all, but I ain't on that type of timing. Like, I be bashing some emos pizza from St. Louis, all my people from Missouri in here. Uh, but they say, the elites have a cold word like pizza or hot dogs or pasta that are all used by the entire syndicate of, um, of, of the trafficking. Any pedo who searched for CP would already know what pizza means. By the way, part of Hillary's emails deleting scandals um, is an email between HRC and Obama that read, don't order pizza and hot dogs in the middle of the night to the White House. We have to be more careful next time. That was pretty crazy. But yeah, there's something that I, I learned and I'm still learning about it, but I'm guessing some type of code word for, you know, the elites of that type of trafficking type of situations. Y'all know what I'm saying. But we are here at the end of the video, man. So y'all gotta let me know y'all honest thoughts and pins on this down below, man. Like I told y'all, the more likes that this video get, the higher that the world ranks. So let's get this video to number one, man. Let's break the records. I don't think I had the trend yet on one of this type of scene of, of uh, content that I do now, but I feel like, you know, with the help of y'all that anything is possible and uh, well enough, rest assured, if y'all could also come on over to the Discord side, man, and send your boy some videos. Like I'll be telling y'all, send me some videos for a shout out. It will honestly mean a lot. And I will give y'all a shout out video. Nobody haven't sent me anything yet. And I'm going to pin it in the comment and link it in the description. So if you all can just send me a video, that will be nice. And I will show y'all, but let's go ahead and get it. Let's go. We out.